Hi, today I want to talk about um, how much a two-story side extension may cost in 2024. Um, before I get into the nitty gritty of that, you know, before you should be budgeting for that, let's just consider a couple of points that you'll want to think about. Um, obviously, the size of what you're building impacts the cost of it. Um, now, quite often with a two-story side, uh, extension you are potentially wrapping it around the rear of the property uh, and so you're increasing the footprint at the back as well um, and it will depend on what you've currently got existing um, whether you've got a kind of garage down the side that you're looking to convert and integrate as part of your living space and then putting the two-story bit uh, on top of that or if you've kind of just kind of got the side passage and you're kind of extending over that and the width and the depth of that is also probably quite important so that's the probably, you know, what are we starting with? And then also start thinking about what is it you're creating? Because each different type of room has a different kind of cost impended to it. So quite often you'll be looking to convert an existing garage. So that will need some insulation and upgrading to make it workable. Um, you may well be adding additional bathrooms. And just think about, you know, bathrooms, uh, fixtures and fittings. By the time you've tiled it, set it all out potentially considered a new boiler uh, and potentially a system cylinder and the kind of infrastructure goes with that. So a bathroom, typically you're probably spending upwards of about 12 to 15,000 these days for um, and in parallel, uh, you know, a boiler refit with a system cylinder, probably upwards of about seven to 8,000, if not a bit more than that. Um, you may start also thinking about actually, if you're doing quite an extensive refurb of that order, do you actually need to start thinking about more uh, energy efficient ways of doing things um, and so there may be the integration of sort of air source heat pumps or solar panels that may impact the cost of the upfront cost but may reduce your running costs in the long term so just think about that side of it obviously bedrooms are slightly cheaper to fit out um, than um, uh, bathrooms but then don't forget that you may well be putting fitted furniture in and that can be quite expensive if you're looking at getting a, a somebody who specializes in sort of fitted bathroom furniture uh, bedroom furniture rather in um, so think about that side of it um, on terms of sort of bringing costs down and how you can manage it um, you may well think actually can we phase this do we really need the full space at the outset can we get permission for it all at once uh, start with the ground floor get that going but making sure that the foundations are strong enough for the lower level, uh, for the upper level to go up once it's been done. Um, and then you can phase the project if you need to. Inevitably, that does cost a little bit more overall, um, but it breaks the project down into manageable, manageable chunks in terms of sort of financial expenditure, particularly when we think about, you know, you're likely to be spending upwards of about 200, 250,000 uh, pounds on a sort of two story side extension. What you'll also want to think about is actually, you know, how much value add space am I getting? Are you getting good sized rooms on the side? Is it better to use the space in the loft and the bit on the ground floor better to give you the spaces that you're looking for? Or do you have quite a significant width on the side that, that can be extended into? And don't forget, some local authorities will have some limitations as to how wide things can be on the side relative to the width of the existing house. Um, to maintain kind of rhythm along the street. So you may well not be able to go all the way up to the boundary. Um, the other thing you might want to think about also is kind of how material costs are impacting the build. Um, and by that, I mean, in this particular instance, obviously you can, you can you know, do your whole extension in brick and block, which is standard sort of construction in the UK with the cavity in between. Um, but actually the upper levels um, and where we've kind of and to be creative, we kind of implement sort of a timber frame structure uh, on the first floor, which reduces the extent of steel work and the loadings uh, and also the depth of the foundations in some instances, um, because we've changed the way that the and the weight of the building. And so by changing the way that it's been constructed, that can reduce cost as well. So kind of having an overview of all of those things um, can impact the way that, you know, structurally it's being designed um, and that all kind of has bearing on the end cost for things um so yeah just really considering all of that side of it and then you've obviously got fit out costs involved uh, a two-story extension typically means that you'll be impacting both the ground floor because you need to get into those uh, new spaces that you created on the side but also the first floor which means that you're probably ripping out the guts of some of the first and the ground floor 
potentially also the loft if you're looking to integrate how the roof structure works and connects into the existing roof at upper level. Quite often we find that when people do do two-storey extensions, they in addition put up, um, you know, factor in re-roofing the full roof, um, particularly if you're working with sort of typical aged housing stocks from the 1930s housing stock where you've got the space on the side at uh, this stage you know in 2024 the roofs are at a stage where they're probably needing renewal in any case so people factor that in so suddenly you've kind of got fit out costs but costs that you hadn't factored in that kind of just start to make the project creep a little bit more uh, and you can easily top sort of 300,000 plus some uh, additional costs for fitting it out at this stage so kind of understand what the full breadth of what it is you're looking to achieve what your kind of cap is on that relative to the value that you're going to get to it straight away but also quite often we find people say that they need sort of four bedroom houses um because they've currently got three children but in two years time the children are going to be in different places um, and so it's just understanding what you need and whether it gives you the flexibility to scale it back as well as a family when you need to uh, and do you actually need all of that space at the outset so lots to consider there as I said, you're probably looking upwards of about 250,000 um, for a two story side extension at the moment in London, um, with some caveats there around how big you end up going and the other impacts that, or the other things that may impact that price as you kind of work it through. Um, but I hope that gives you a bit of an overview.